up, looking up. There you go, that's great. She scored an Emmy nomination for making waves on the White Lotus. The beach looks sick, we should go. Girls. Yeah, let's go. And she piles on the drama alongside Zendaya on Euphoria. How long have you been f***ing Nate Jacobs? Are you kidding me? No, I, <laughs> I don't even know why she would say that. Will we possibly see you on Euphoria anytime soon? <laughs> we still have to film season three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, copy on that. Okay, so we may have to wait until 2024 for Sydney Sweeney's return to Euphoria. But right now, she's playing a real person in the new Tina Sater film, Reality. I'm trying to deploy. I'm not trying to be a whistleblower. That's crazy. Based on a true story, Sydney stars as Reality Winner, a former American intelligence specialist who leaked an intelligence report suggesting Russia interfered with the 2016 election. The Russians attacked our democracy. Did you feel pressure taking on this role? Of course. The weight of reality was on my shoulders. I wanted to make sure that I embodied her as much as I possibly could. It was an amazing challenge. And what was your interaction like with reality? I was able to Zoom with her and text with her. She was very collaborative during the entire process, and I got to know her as a person. I think you just messed up. This is a different type of a role than many people have seen you in Sydney as well. It is, it is. I like finding characters that are different from one, each other, and from myself and kind of challenge what people think of me. What do you hope that people take away from this? I hope they see reality as a person and the actual experience and moment in her life that she had. Has she seen it? No, she has oh, no. not. No. Okay. She, well, has. she supports it, yes. but it'd be hard to relive that moment in your life. She really felt like she was doing her duty and being of service to the country. She said that great quote in an interview at one point. She said, I knew this, um, you know, content was secret, but I felt like I had pledged service to the American people. And, I, and we use that, I think, in a pretty powerful way in the movie, but I, I think that really speaks to how she was feeling. Can we talk about the interrogation scene? I know it was, I was reading, you were saying it was like 50 or 60 pages, and it was just one long scene. Was there something that just pushed you over the edge on this? What was that process like working on that? I, I felt like every single day, the wall just kept getting closer <laughs> and closer and closer, and it just felt more intense the, the longer we, we were diving into it. Usually when I'm scared of something, that means I have to do it because I will just grow as an artist and as a person, and I'm gonna challenge myself, and I think that life would be pretty boring if we're not challenging ourselves every day. It's intense. How did you break away or have a moment for yourself? It is honestly just having Josh and Marshawn on, on set. There's so much fun and we would just go into our, our other room and to hang out and talk and eat snacks. And they were just, they brought a lot of um, levity to the entire process. Reality hits HBO and Max May 29th. And the most likely candidate is you.